right, this is a problem Audi A6 that has been to numerous garages and had numerous things change from the gear stick control module to the brake light switch to the actual micro switch and uh, we're just going to have a look on the repair manuals as well to see uh, how we come to the bottom of the conclusion of its intermittent fault with the non-start, no release of the ignition key and uh, the gear stick stuck in P. Okay, here we have an Audi A6. Um, the key won't release and uh, the gear stick is stuck in position. So, I've run through a few test plans on the switch for the P position. That's exactly what's happening. You can't remove the key and it's locked in P. Okay, done. Okay, what's happening as well with this car, as you can see the N is lit up and that disappears and the P is working at the minute. I'm not going to repeat the function test because it's reading correctly. Yes, it was detected. Okay, this is us testing the switch F305. And as you can see, if I move the gear stick out, Put it into P. Perfect. That is working exactly how it should be. Move the gear stick. There we go. Switches are going open circuit. That's not what they should do. The micro switch. Put it back. Boom. Look at that. Perfect. So we know they're working absolutely fine. Green tick there saying it's okay. Now, this is where the problem lies, intermittently. When I run the test on this, and this is a switch block in the back of the automatic gearbox CVT. There we go, disappeared, it's just lost it. Look, oh, it's back again, there we go, there we go, working, it's back again. And this is what it's doing intermittently. It wants me to move it into position N now. There we go, disappeared. As you can see, it's not tallying up. So, see what it says. Now, 
I've set the uh, position of the cables and it's still the same. I've set it to the to the outer wind manual. So the only thing it can be is a switch block inside the automatic gear explainer. And I'll send it away for repair and that should be the end of his issues. Okay then, this is a summary of uh, how we got to the bottom of the uh, the A6 with the automatic gearbox uh, problem and uh, and how we used Elsa Win to help us get to that conclusion as well. Obviously as well you can have them both running at the same time on separate windows so you don't need to keep on flipping in and out so you can see why you're doing the test plan and look at all your repair manuals and wiring diagrams at the same time fill in your details as normal So just fill in all the details in, engine code BRE and our gearbox code was, yeah, as per the data sticker, was this one here, JFL. OK all that. Now, as you can see, when I was testing the switch, we had to look at the... Uh, the wiring diagrams and we're looking for F305 so what I shall do is put in F305 And there he is. So it's quite straightforward. Here's this is a micro switch, and you can see there there's a resistor of 470 ohms. So one you can just literally disconnect it at the multiplug here at T4I3 and literally do a resistance check to see it make sure it's working. And it should be bang on 470 ohms if that is the case then again you'll know the switch itself is okay but I did it tested it all all, all wired up basically hardwired and this goes here to your ignition switch control module E415 entry and start authorization switch if we follow 46 current track 46 that should actually comes straight down here to 55 so if you follow it there 55 there's 55 and it's just straight to earth so it's easily tested because all it does has a 5 volt supply and then it earths it and th goes through the resistor and then you get about 1.2 volts so we knew electrically it was working absolutely fine and on the laptop when we tested it it was absolutely fine but what you'll find is on the other test plan it put in uh, the, for testing the, uh, the the micro switch in the uh, F125 if I remember So, as you can see, F125 isn't coming up on the Elsa Wind manual on the electric diagrams, and there's a reason for that because F125 is part of J217, and that is here, and that is a gearbox control module. You will not find F125. So, what we had to do is go on to the repair manuals so 
So if you type in F125 and search that, it should then hopefully show us and find it on the repair manuals. This is one of the units that was changed, that switch that we thought was faulty, what well, obviously wasn't, and the other unit that was changed was this unit here, this control module that was changed as well, but obviously didn't rectify the car and still had the same issues. That is a control module that sits on top of the gear stick as well. That unit alone would have been around £300. I know the uh, customer in particular had spent probably close to £1,000 and the car still exactly the same. Now, he can see on the uh, electrical components and fitting locations because F125 is not shown on the wiring diagrams and there's a reason for that it's because it's integrated as I said into the gear gearbox control module J217 now if you look here see multifunction switch there it is right there and that is what detects your gear position it's basically just a, a magnet that runs across it and depending where the magnet is depends on what it tells the control module then to send back to the car to let it know what gear it's in so this module here the complete module J217 was playing up because in the test plan it told me to adjust the gear linkage and I set the gear linkage to the Elsa Win manual what we have on here removing and soaring and that was changed as well the lock solenoid this had numerous things changed to try and sort this uh, this problem but uh, I adjusted the lever cable and it was actually set perfectly so the only thing it could have been was either the linkage internally in the gearbox what I found nothing wrong with or this module so I sent this module away for repair they confirmed it was defective and it came back repaired put it on the car and he never had a problem again